Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 23rd going to the 29th. So let's dive in, let's see what's going on for you guys, okay? I'm going to jump straight into it, but whilst we shuffle the cards for you, there is a new membership uh, on the channel here. So if you would like to, go and check it out. If you press the join button next to subscribe button, then it will tell you all the details about what it is. Is about i'll be posting bonus readings on there extra content on there possibly some love readings maybe some full moon new moon readings etc etc so uh, let me know i'm still deciding what new bonus readings i want to add on there maybe pick a card who knows um you guys can let me know what you'd prefer to be honest with you um if you'd like to join but other than that no pressure don't have to just for some extra content on there for you guys I'm not ready. Um, what do I do when I'm not ready? I'll dive into it now. All right, let's see. All right, spray it. Let's dive in. All right, for Libra, please. 23rd to 29th for Libra. Overall energy for this week. You have the crown chakra coming through. Seventh chakra. Underneath that, you have deceit. Mm, I don't like that. So when the crown chakra comes in, what it represents is your connection to spirit, your ability to receive messages from the universe and being connected to uh, the universe around you. So some of you, um, there may be some downloads, some divine messages that are going to be coming to you. It's going to give you some intuitive guidance around some sort of deceit in your life, okay? Whether that's other people, whether it is our own self-sabotaging ways, you know, sometimes we might be blocking our connection to spirit because of things that we've got going on. So, you know, things that we might be doing that are not so... Um, in alignment to who we are. So just pay attention to that. Um, again, it may mean more to do with other people around you. Sorry, I'm going to pull you a keyword for the week for Libra, please, for the week. You have love coming through as your keyword. All right, your affirmation for the week is I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. All right, let's go. Let's pull you some. Both of these are purple, by the way, and that is what your crown chakra is about. So purple could be a very important color for you this week. Maybe wearing more purple might open up your crown chakra, eating purple foods uh, can actually help you with your chakras as well. But anyway, let's dive in. Let's pull you. I'm going to read them as I go through. I don't usually do that, but this time I will. All right, so let's see. What is in the recent past for Libra, please? The chariot. All right, may have been a recent move, maybe brought a recent car, who knows? The chariot is more about moving forward, all right, in a very quick speed, okay? So this is about determination, having a goal, knowing where it is that you want to go and running there, okay? So some of you may have recently um, been on a journey, maybe a literal, whether it's a literal journey, going somewhere, or whether it is more to do with, you know, um, having some hindsight about where it is that you want to go and moving forward. Maybe you made some very major moves in your life, all right? Lately, let's clarify the chariot, please. The two of cups in reverse. Some of you may have moved away from a, a connection with somebody. We have the hermit here as well. Uh, this could be Virgo energy for some of you here, Libra, but this can also be um, about your higher self is looking back at this. Let's clarify one more. The chariot, please. The Four of Wands is, again, this is a card about, um, usually about success celebrations. You can see there's a date here. It's kind of still relating to engagements with somebody. Some of you may have moved away from an engagement, all right, or again, a commitment with somebody. This can also be about friendships and connections and soulmates. Let's just get one more for the Chariot then. The Nine of Cups. So some of you moved away from a connection and gained success anyway. Like you gained wish fulfillment to some degree. You maybe gained new love for some of you. All right. Or some sort of milestone came through and you achieved that, which is interesting. Maybe you weren't focusing on love and it just happened to you for some of you. All right. But regardless, this speaks about moving in a certain direction. Let's see your current energy, please. It is the hanged man, but you're feeling stuck now. This is very different from that chariot. Some of you might be feeling a bit stuck in your current energy. The hanged man is always about seeing things in a different perspective. We have the king of wands to clarify. 
So you guys are in a creative, I'm hearing creative pursuit. We have justice that is your energy in your current position, Libra, and three of swords. Now, three of swords, we have the high priestess and the eight of swords. This feels like there was something in your intuition that we were not seeing, Libra. This is feeling stuck, feeling trapped, not knowing where to go, not being able to hear our intuition, which is again why the crown chakra might have come up here because it feels like somebody... This is in your current energy. So you might be feeling trapped in your current energy. It feels like you had more freedom in the past compared to what you do now. King of Wands and the Three of Swords. This could be a player energy that's around you. Somebody who is, you know, very ambitious. This is somebody who, you know, may have a lot of self-confidence. Nothing wrong with that. But with the Three of Swords here, it feels like this person may have... A big hold on your heart or may have caused you heartbreak in the present hanged man you feel stuck maybe your creativity is also feeling blocked and again that actually does have a lot to do with your crown chakra so justice being here is like your current energy with the hanged man is to see something differently and to bring something into balance whether it's somebody who's hurt your or well, definitely something's hurt your heart let's see what three assault is about four of cups could be some sort of rejection here that you faced some of you might be feeling a little bit jaded and getting a bit of depression here. So make sure you speak to somebody about that, Libra. All right. This is like a feeling really down, like your heart feels broken. The Four of Cups here is like, I don't want anything. Like I just don't, you're bored and you don't want to do anything. You know, that's the vibes I'm picking up here, which is interesting because the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, it's usually about unexpected blessings. But this feels like a fated situation. Justice then. Well, justice is that you are going to be stable. Some of you are going to be getting an opportunity here from somebody that is going to create justice. Whether it's legal situations, it feels good in your favor. All right, so if somebody in a situation with somebody got you down, got you feeling stuck, then it definitely feels like you're moving away from that. You're gaining um, success from that, stability from that. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles is moving forward and learning as we grow. It's, it's gaining um, as we grow. And it's stability. Some of you could, again, get an offer from someone to help you or to give you something here. It could be financial. It could be work-related. So what's all of this? Like, Eva, I don't know if this is you or somebody else, to be honest with you. What feels like your energy is definitely the justice and the hanged man. Feeling stuck and feeling like you want balance in your life. Maybe this is someone else around you who feels rejected and heartbroken here. Like something maybe unexpected happened. Maybe they didn't realize they were going to be rejected by you. Alright, for some of you Libra. Alright, what's the blockages? Five of Cups, disappointment. Feeling disappointed. Seeing things like that went wrong and not necessarily what is still there. We have judgment as well. So some of you are finding it very difficult to move on from a situation because it, you know, it, it hurt, it, it upset you. It maybe caused you to look more at the negatives and, you know, maybe you're focusing a lot more on what went wrong rather than what you still have and what you can still build from here. Because judgment is usually about release and moving on and ascending. But when we're so caught up in what went wrong in our life and we're focusing only on that, we get stuck to that. You know, that's what we're attached to. Uh, and in this, in this kind of reading, what it feels like is what your current blockage is, that we might need to let go of focusing on what went wrong in a situation and what upset us, what was said, what was done in our life so that we can actually create that balance for yourself because in the next chapter of your life, when you ascend and move on and let go and release, then of course that's, some, that's when you can get your justice. That's when you can get your, your good re results. You know, they say like you can't you can't heal in the same environment that made you sick. And that's the energy that's coming through. And that is also so relevant to also the mindset. If you are still thinking about something that you that made you sick, that's like a metaphor really for um, 
something that hurt you, something that maybe this caused you to go off track a bit, maybe caused you to feel unbalanced. If you're still thinking about that, your mind is still there. Your body doesn't know any different. You know, your body doesn't know whether you're thinking about the past or not. It's going to bring up those reactions, and you may see that when you're thinking about past things, your body's reacting in the same way. You're getting upset about it. You're crying about it because your body is repeating that same pain as if you're living in it now. So what happens is now we're still in that same environment, even though we're detached from it. If you're detached from it. So we might need to focus a little bit more and release a little bit on what we can't control and start to focus on what you can. And this will be part of your enlightenment. All right, moving forward, what about uh, in the near future for Libra? Ace of Wands, you have new passion coming in. I love that. A new beginning, a new idea. All right, whatever this is, this feels good. You do have the Seven of Swords though, so let's clarify what that is. The two of cups coming in somebody might try to come back around again in the near future because of this new beginning that you've got all right this again could be someone that you had a relationship with someone that you had a, a connection with two of cups is not necessarily about just love so this could be outside of that family friends whatever let's clarify what the seven of swords is four of swords this is someone that you've already been healing from this is already like this is someone that you've already been healing from is trying to come back in again in the future because of this new beginning. Seven of Pentacles reversed. What's the influence this person has? High Priestess. It feels like there is like a lie. The High Priestess is again about hidden knowledge and secrets here, and that's what's clarifying that Seven of Swords. Somebody has a secret. All right, and what came up reversed, temperance reversed. This kind of feels like somebody might be trying to use you as a stepping stone. Like that's the vibes I'm getting here because the two of wands is here. So someone's trying to use your ace of wands to get to their two of wands. So just pay attention to who's trying to like jump into your ship here, like trying to jump on board. Of what you're trying to create for yourself pay attention to who's coming along with you that's what it feels like this is somebody who you've already you know kind of seen for the truth a little bit let's see because there's four soldiers here so you already have been healing from this situation so somebody who may have already upset you hurt you maybe you already found out that they had lied about something or had you know different intentions it feels like this person might be trying to come back round again to take probably from your harvest this is somebody who's quite selfish, somebody who's selfish way, somebody who's like, oh, you're, you're doing that. Oh, let me, let me join. <laughs> let me join. That sounds good. Let me have some. I'm getting that energy. This is somebody who doesn't like to work for themselves. This is somebody who likes to, let me have that. Oh, let me do that with you. And it's like, you need to place a very strong boundary with this person. They should not be a part of this new beginning because they will take from it. That's what I'm picking up on. This person's a bit of a thief. This person is very sneaky. They have strategy. You know, Seven of Swords is a strategy. So make sure we're staying away from that energy because you will move forward with this new beginning. Whatever this passion is, it could be a business venture. It could be something that, again, it's going to pay fruit for you. Clearly, whatever this is, is a good idea. And that's what's going to draw in a few people who you need to place boundaries with, okay? Whoever they are, don't know who it is. Family, friends, whatever, lover. It's just like, don't... This new beginning might just be just for you. All right. All right. What is the unexpected for the week? Four of Pentacles. Beware of greed or greedy people. Four of Pentacles. That's probably very similar to what we were just saying about the unexpected, like that greedy, like stealing energy. The fool. Very naive, very foolish behavior. And the Empress. This could be a mother figure for some of you. Or again, this is your energy, Libra. You could be the Empress and somebody is trying to trick you into giving what you have. When it comes down to yourself, the Empress is abundant. She has everything. She doesn't need to hold on to it like this. She believes that what she gives out will come back to her. If this, Be careful that we don't fall into greedy habits. But of course, protect yourself where necessary. Um, it's about having boundaries. 
But yeah, full energy. Don't go jumping in and taking a leap of faith with somebody who is very greedy. Four of Pentacles. That's not an abundant energy. One more for the Four of Pentacles. Nine of Swords reversed. This person does not fear anything. That's what it feels like. Ten of Swords here as well. I'm kind of picking up a little bit of like sociopath. Like I'm getting an energy of someone who does not care about other people's feelings. And that's why they do what they do. This person feels a bit like a thief. Whether that's a thief of love. I don't know how you want to personify that. But it's like... Uh, uh, and I like I'm just getting the energy here of somebody who does not care about what they do to others, just what they get from themselves. Ten of Swords. We have to cut ties with that energy. Otherwise, we'll find out the hard way again that this person doesn't want your abundance because you are an abundant person. They want your abundance because they want it. They just want what you have to offer, not about who you are. This person does not care that you're an empress. <laughs> Or they're like, oh, you're an empress, so you have money. Oh, so you're an empress, so you have self-love. Oh, you're an empress, you have all this good, you're a nurturing energy, give me that. You know, like, whatever you have, this person wants, but it's not for the right reasons. It's not out of love, it's not out of care of who you are, it's, I want what you've got. It's greedy, it's jealous, I don't like it. All right, in terms of your love life, for Libra... Eight of Pentacles and it's Five of Swords. For some of you, okay, uh, there may have been a disagreement in loving relationships. Maybe you've walked away from somebody. It looks like you're focusing on yourself uh, now. The Eight of Pentacles is focusing on your work, focusing on what you're building for yourself, your skills, talents, abilities. It's just about progress. Now, Five of Swords here, that feels like the greatest revenge because Five of Swords is usually an energy of, you know, kind of, winning at all costs doesn't matter what you say or do you know it's about winning but in this case i kind of feel like you're winning at all costs is more about yourself which is good that's a really good way of doing it and i say that's the only revenge that should ever be done <laughs> with the five of swords and the eight of pentacles you live your life the universe does the rest six of wands reverse yeah something in love was unsuccessful in the past six of wands reverse these cards love coming up reverse. Like my other decks don't do it like this. And it's because it's new. <laughs> All right, let's see for Libra, for love. Seven Pentacles, again, you're working on yourself here. Just be careful, again, when it comes down to your relationships with people around you, who actually is for you. Because again, this winning at all costs energy seems very similar to that Four of Pentacles. You may currently have someone around you again who is, who needs to be seen for who they really are, okay? It might be trying to block you from your, you know, your crown chakra. You're receiving, you're, you're knowing. Okay, five of swords. Ace of swords. Yeah, you know this for the truth. You've seen the truth. You know the truth. You spoke your truth. Now you're moving forward and focusing on everything else. Advice for the week for Libra. The hermit stepping into this kind of isolated energy is not always a bad thing of course in moderation and everything in moderation but the hermit is really about seeing things from a higher perspective from a detached perspective this is a hermit who goes on his own venture he climbs the mountains and he's able to see things from the top very clearly so it is kind of saying here as your advice is that when we're out of a situation we can see it better for what it truly is and the more that you detach yourself from an energy the more that you can see it clearly uh, the hermit is also again more about reassessment is about analyzing yourself analyzing your behavior analyzing the behavior and the path of um other people and of your own ace of pentacles coming through this can help you with a new stable beginning is the lessons that you've learned you've gained a lot of wisdom from what you've been through so use it and six of cups again it's about the past some nostalgia again think about the past in a way that helps you to heal four of swords is different from the three you've been heartbroken from situations that happened in your life um but you've healed from it or at least have healed you know got through the worst of it you're no longer in the three of swords yes you may be in the four of swords there is still that pain there is still that remnants or scars as we say six of cups is saying learn from it all right we can learn from it and place that into a new beginning 
All right, whatever we've learned from the past, we can put forward and, you know, we know it won't happen again. And we can do our best to make sure it doesn't happen again. What about the opportunity for the week for Libra? We just all reversed as your opportunity. That is usually your card. We have the Page of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles. Now, in this case, your opportunity is more about vulnerability with the right things page of cups is an emotional offer some of you again the ten of pentacles it could be someone in the family who is expecting some of you get the chance to kind of be your opportunity for this week some of you when it comes down to family might actually have like a very emotional vulnerable uh opportunity with the family or with your stability. Some of you, again, could be achieving a childhood dream. What's interesting is the Queen of Swords is usually very, she's like, I'm a lion, anyone get to my heart. And that is what you're being guided to do is to have those boundaries. But your opportunity this week is also letting your inner child out to play. And it feels like that's going to help you to attain abundance. Again, it could be about family. It could be some news around family that's going to make you feel more vulnerable. Um, but in this case, it could also be about finances and reaching your goal. All right, let's get you some tea leaf tarot. For Libra. Did you see that? Oh, it's right behind me as well. All right, let me grab it. You have dolphin, like, like, no wonder it jumped like that. <laughs> this says financial gain, usually coming from something that you did in the past. We have successful, successfully overcoming a problem. You have mountain road. You are on the road to success. Of course, you do have currently, though, feeling tied down or frustrated. We have funnel, which says lessons to be learned, period of frustration. And clouds. These are just temporary problems. All right, Tina Angel, you will get through this. All right, um, maybe get like, I'm hearing like, get some music that will help you feel more motivated to push through and to place boundaries. There's a lot of songs out there. Music is not only so healing, but it actually has such a big impact on our emotions. So if you're listening to sad, broken hearted music, you're gonna feel sad and broken hearted. If you're listening to upbeat music that makes you feel good, makes you feel confident, makes you feel inspired, then you're gonna feel those things. So <laughs> um, maybe, music is like very um, significant for some reason but anyway i love you guys libra thank you so much for being here with me i'm sorry that it's not the most upbeat reading i usually love when readings have like you know that overcoming the problems and you do but it just feels like you're currently in a little bit of a difficult stage but again your main focus is your crown chakra we're going to get rid of anyone who's feeding you know things into us that are not true um we're getting back into touch with your spiritual i'm hearing gifts for some of you but also your connection to the divine your connection to yourself your connection to that all-knowing energy that we're capable of having especially when it comes down to people somebody might be trying to trick you i'm not the bad guy like trust me you know like let me in like it's not me you know somebody is playing that like is it double-edged sword i don't think that's what they're meaning by that it's more of a case of like, this person's done you wrong. And it's like, no, like you can trust me. Let me in. Let's be a part of that together. Let me, let's build that business together. Let, let's let make that money together. Or, or let me, let me have what you've got. Like, you know, like, you know, I need it. Like, it's just a bit manipulative. They've done you wrong. They've shown you reason not to trust you, but it's like, they're acting as if they're trustworthy. It's weird. <laughs> just to get what it is that you've got so anyway we're moving away from people like that so that's good anyway i love you guys wish you all the best again if you'd like to join the membership then that is down below and should say everything once you click that join button it should tell you everything um, aside from that i will love you and leave you i'll see you guys next week all right